Well, hey everyone, Nathan here in our headquarters in Coldwater Canyon Park. It's been a little quieter these days during this time of quarantine. Usually we get a lot of visitors to our park, but they don't always seem to understand the difference between what goes in a black trash bin and what goes in a blue recycling bin. So why don't you take a quick dumpster dive with me? I'll show you what I'm talking about. Let's see what we're working with. Glass and aluminum can recycle indefinitely and should be in the blue bin. Really makes me think about the packaging that my food and drinks come in. Plastic also recycles, but not indefinitely. It degrades over time, resulting in small pieces of waste plastic that often end up in the environment. That's why I prefer reusable water bottles. Also, why are you throwing water away? Don't do that, just give nature a drink. Same with straws, and they can be really harmful to wildlife. That's why I recommend a reusable silicone or metal straw. Now let's see what's in here that should be in there. Plastic shopping bags are recyclable, just not in a curbside bin. If you put them in here at the recycling facility, they'll get all wrapped up in the machinery and the workers have to turn everything off just so they can get it out. Everything in this bag looks recyclable, but at the recycling facility, the workers won't take the time to open it up and go through it, and it will just end up in the landfill. So make it easy on them and yourself. Just empty all the recyclables into the bin. A lot of people think that chip bags are recyclable, but when they're shiny on the inside, gotta go in the trash. Now this looks recyclable, but because it once had a hazardous material inside, it has to go in a black bin. If there is still any oil left inside the container, it should be taken to a site where they will recycle used motor oil, like an auto parts store. Who put food scraps in the recycling? These are best put in a home composting bin where they can decompose and become a healthy soil supplement. But if that's not an option for you, the green bin is fine. Just be sure to only put plant-based materials in the green bin, not any fully cooked meals or meat products or anything like that. Why? Thanks for joining me. Hopefully you've learned a little more about what does and doesn't go into these bins. Remember, to ensure a healthy community forest, we have to be thoughtful about our waste. Tune in next time to learn even more about the world of waste and some tips on reducing, reusing, and recycling so that we can all manage our precious resources more wisely. <laughs>